Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can edit a video using BandLab. So let's get right into it. For example, as you can see, I have a blank new project and I'll be editing a video here. And for example, if I wanted to drop one of my tutorials, which I will do, let me just uh, go into this file and drag and drop that file here. You can do that if you wish, or you can just uh, add it manually by clicking here and finding it on your PC. And for some reason, it doesn't want to add, but as you can see, uh, it tried to copy it uh, and as you can see it was successful and now uh, the only thing that you'll see of course is the audio since you cannot edit the video information band lab is only for sound but here you can edit it however you want you can right click and denoise it which will make it a bit better and remove some noise you can go into effects and add a uh, what was it uh, a audio or voice enhancer or whatever you want to call it i forgot where it actually is as you can see here there is a vocal enhancer uh, which you can click and add it and choose the mode choose the amount or the percent etc uh, etc et you can uh, yeah i've already covered denoising you can go into the editor you can increase the region gain if it's too quiet uh, you can uh, increase or decrease the pitch and the playback rate or you can go to auto pitch to add auto tune uh, and uh, that is only for recording as far as i'm aware uh, but that is some uh, that is that is a way pretty much to record audio in BandLab and then incorporate it into a video with a sort of autotune-esque tool which BandLab has have made themselves and yeah that is pretty much what you can do uh, you can edit it however you want you can figure out what you want to your video to sound like and you can just modify the sound and if you export it it will export it uh, as a uh, couple of well let's say formats and it will uh, update the song metadata and save everything, which I won't bore you with waiting for it. It'll then uh, offer you to download it as four different sort of uh, formats, uh, the WAV format, the MP3 format, and MP4A in high and medium, uh, which all have differing types of compression, differing types, uh, well, differing amounts of size uh, they take up, and that is pretty much it. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Uh, MP4A, MP3, and WAV. WAV is, of course, uh, uncompressed, uh, but the largest. MP3 is the highest uh, while still lightweight and has it takes up less space. And as you go down, it takes up less space. But that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.